Hi, George here for JustOneDram.com for another Whiskey Wednesday. Today I've got a bottle of Pure Kentucky XO Small Batch Bourbon. Very tasty stuff. Nice looking bottle here. A map of Kentucky for the label. Nice wax tipped bottle cap there. But just jump right into it. The Pure Kentucky XO comes from Willet. Great company there. Screw cap underneath the wax. I have to say, normally I'm a little wary of screw caps, but don't be. There's absolutely no reason a fantastic bottle of whiskey or wine or any spirit or beverage of your choosing, there's no reason a screw cap is a bad thing. Beautiful amber color, darker, caramely amber. Wonderful nose on this, it's real big, full of vanilla, caramely, toasty corn, spicy. A little hot because it it is 107 proof and if you really get your nose deep into that glass you can definitely feel that there's a lot of alcohol coming off of this it is a, again 107 proof it's quite a bit of alcohol but it's not overbearing it's not overpowering it's pretty well balanced in there on the palate. A real corn caramely sweetness. Very distinctly bourbon. Very, very classic bourbon with the corn sweetness. A little corn oily though. It's got a little bit of an oily feeling to it. Definitely that kind of corn oil feel to it. But it's definitely beyond that got a lot of spice, liveliness, very vanilla and caramel. Definitely not getting uh, the sense from on the palate that it's truly such a high proof. Definitely doesn't taste 80 proof, but it's hard to believe it really is 107 proof with how easy to drink it is. The finish, real spicy, full of that rye, the rye notes. Almost a little malty in the finish though. There's definitely a little barley in the mash bill and you can really, really sense that in the finish. It's a very smooth and warming finish. Definitely easy to drink, very enjoyable. Now though, I'm going to do something I normally do not do. Not normally a fan of doing this, but I've recently opened my, my mind a little bit to adding a little water to your whiskey. Especially in something a little higher proof, something at 107 proof. Got a straw here, some spring water. Get a tiny little drop. One little drop there. Another little drop. And we'll go for a third little drop if I cannot overdo it. Perfect. Back, gotta close back up my, my labelless water bottle here. Don't want to give anyone free advertising. It's not being reviewed, especially when the company makes this. It's does not have a healthy business practice when it comes to the spirit and wine business in New York State. Some of you may guess who that is. But anyway, swirl it around, get that water evenly distributed through the spirit. And right off the bat, really opens up on the nose. It's really 
took on like a, a floral note to it on the nose. Definitely still uh, pulling through with a lot of caramel and vanilla. It has a very sweet yellow corn crop smell to it too. Very lightly toasty around the edges after adding the water. The water on the palate really brings out those um, multi notes I was talking about earlier. But definitely kind of evens out the real big oily corn heavy flavor and it kind of mellows it out. I wouldn't say it falls apart, but it definitely balances out. And the finish though, with the water, it actually brings out more of the corn. It's really, for someone who normally doesn't water their whiskey, it's a different, it's very interesting experience for me to get two whole different uh, experiences from the same glass of spirit. Very tasty, nonetheless. Anyway, that all being said, time for a score of this fantastic bottle here. Very reasonably priced bottle, by the way. Online I saw it going for $40, $50, but in a retail environment, I picked this bottle up for just over $30. And all things considered, definitely worth a 93. Give this bottle a 93 out of 100. Very good bottle of bourbon. Recommend getting your hands on it. It's an allocated product, so it's a little harder to come by. So if you see it, snatch up a bottle. And if you like it, get one or two more. Anyway, happy Whiskey Wednesday. Cheers.